Hi everyone, happy Sunday. Um, that's the day I'm filming this, not necessarily the same day that you'll look at it. Um, we just went to Trader Joe's uh, to get a couple things that we needed. And of course, lately it seems nothing's in stock. You know, the things that you've run out of, um, been trying to get, are out of stock. Case in point is found to really like these mushroom risotto, this mushroom risotto, and we couldn't find it, couldn't find it, went to the front desk, they had gotten a shipment last night, so they just put it in a different place than where we normally found it. So happy to say that we did get that, but got some more corn tortillas. I'm actually going to make my lunch. Um, got one of our favorite Italian water. This is the lemon. Um, but the other thing, got two of these alkaline water with electrolytes, is Gerolsteiner. We, our sole reason for going was we were going to get a case, and a case is 15, and all they had was four on the shelf, so obviously we got those. But, um, yeah, that's... How that went and then the other items that we got is non-dairy oat creamer and then I've been having a problem uh, with my sourdough starter and that it hasn't started um, so I bought some bread because it's been like maybe three weeks since we've had sourdough bread so I just fed my starter this morning. I'm not going to move it because it's in a dark space um, in the corner and I just don't want to agitate it. Um, and the other thing is now that it's basically spring and so the temperature has changed, that may have something to do with why the starter is having, it is taking longer or, you know, whatever, whatever it is. I'll see. But yeah, so that's why I got that. And then we got, this is the best 100% cranberry juice. Um, there are, it's just cranberry juice. There's no additives at all, so. And then our favorite for anything that we cook, Italian dish, bolognese, you know, pasta or whatever, we always put in these um, tomatoes. And that's it. That is our impromptu um, Trader Joe's run. You know, then we'll be fine for a couple weeks, anyways. And that's it. See you in my bacon. Carries gold butter. The bagels I made the other day. We have a few left. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna make some coffee. And I'm using coconut milk. I got these from Costco. They're 33 fluid ounces, roughly 34 to round up. So I'm going to pour this in. And this milk, it's coconut milk. It doesn't have a strong cocoa, coconut flavor. Here it is. So it's 50 calories, no sugar, and 
ingredients filtered water or organic coconut cream natural flavor xanthan gum and salt so I think the xanthan is good, but then I'm going to add, and Now I'm going to turn it down because it's pretty cooked. And then I'm going to add to my coffee. I'll show you in a minute. This is monk fruit sweetener. And the calories. Here, erythrial monk fruit extract, and it's a one gram, one percent of sugar, four grams sugar alcohol. So it's not super sweet, which is fine. It does have a weird, I would say, look to it. It's very shiny, like very shiny. what I use and I actually haven't been using this and I just remembered I had it getting my paper plate ready Drain the bacon. There's that. And then we're pouring some coffee. And I don't usually use this. Ever, we everything's in the dishwasher. You can hear it going in the background. But I thought I would. And then here's heavy duty whipped cream, two percent sugar, one gram, one added gram, and. going to move you over a little bit. So now I think I'm going to start to drain the bacon. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's well done, but we like a good well done bacon over here. always try to drain it. This is the Costco brand and this is actually the thinner. Okay. Alright, so there's that. 
so I just let it sit and drain. Then I'm going to take bagel. See, they did really well. I froze them and they did really well. This is a thick one. And I'm gonna cut this one in half. This is a cheddar cheese, but yeah, it did really well. I'll put these back. So what I will do is here and these are like all my supplies for sourdough. This is, I use a one fourth cup to scoop flour and water. So this I use it's a tea it's for tea but I actually use it to put the flour on top of the sourdough I just use what I have I stir with this I cut the dough with this this is my cheesecloth that I use to cover the jar as well as cover the bagels when uh, the dough when I'm letting it rise. And then I got some new stuff. These are it's a Danish dough whisk. I haven't used them yet. I literally just got them in, but these are nice. Wooden. Amazon. I'll list them and uh, my Amazon store and the other item I got is for scoring the bread. I haven't used this yet, but this is what it looks like. I'll list this at my Amazon store too. And I will be making some bread this week, so I will show you how this is used. And these are all the blades, the very, very sharp blades. So, there's that. And then this I also use to cover the dough. And these are things that I already had. So for nut milk, because this is really good for nut milk to squeeze out the pulp. And these are really, really good. So I'm going to cut this bagel in half and toast it. And this is our toaster that we got recently. And it's wide slot, which is great for bagels. And let me get a bread knife. I just kind of eyeball it where the center is. And I just took these out of the fridge this morning, so they're it's still a little cold, but to try to make some cuts and not cut myself. That's the main thing I'm trying to do is not cut myself. Yep, there we are. So it's pretty good. <laughs> 